So good morning, YouTube. Hey, you guys. I have missed you all so much. I'm so happy to be back home. Um, even though, um, I don't know if many of you guys know, but I do do nails. And I was at our educational summit for um, the company that I contract for sometimes to um, kind of educate about nails. But anyway, um, yes, I'm so excited to be back. Uh, we're just going to have, of course, makeup fun today. I am going to use a few new products I picked up while out of town um so for most this is my face looks ashy i have some spot corrector on that's what this is is i put it underneath my um moisturizer i mean before i put my moisturizer on i kind of let it dry and i am going to go in with the hydra genius for oily skin by l'oreal i picked this up um in new york at the l'oreal shops which I just really enjoyed myself a little too much. This is a daily moisturizer hydrant. Um, every you can use this every morning um, after cleansing and, and after cleansing your skin. So this is what I'm going to moisturize with for today. Um, something else that I've been trying is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, and this came in the um, little sample box from Sephora. So I'm giving it a whirl, and uh, I do like it because you guys know. That I will go in with um, full coverage underneath my eyes just because of my um, dark circles. And this really has been helping a lot with that under eye look. You're really not supposed to go in that rough. You're just supposed to dab this in. So you guys should already know I have really been enjoying the um, Magic by Juvia's Place. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do something kind of springy and lightweight and uh yeah so we're gonna go in with uh kessie kesi k-e-s-i have you guys seen look if you guys haven't decided to pick up this palette yet you guys are really missing out so pretty so so pretty i didn't take this with me out of town i was i almost did but i was like no i bet not um because I was flying. Now, if I hadn't gone on a road trip, this would have been going with me because I would have made it would have been safe, safer that way, I think. But um, yeah, I didn't take it with me, and I missed this palette while I was out of town. So, so of course, the first video I do when I get back is a Juvia Spice video. And the next shade <laughs> I'll pick up is Nana, of course. This is a great transitional shade. So let me know what you guys' summer plans are. Um, well, let me put it like this. What are your summer makeup plans? <laughs> Have you seen any new releases that you're interested in? Um, I see a few things that's coming out. Um, I saw a few things in New York that I was like, ooh, you know. Um, but I know eventually, I tried to pick up something that I knew I could not get in Memphis that I wanted to test, and that was the... Uh, Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is a concealer. I did use a use it one time while I was in New York, and let me tell you, you need literally a dab of that stuff. So I'm going to use it today on camera, so you guys can see. Um, it's the worth. The shade it. I'm gonna go in with is Koji. I don't know, like a pinkish orange. I'm gonna take it on a fluffier brush so it doesn't. Uh, Oh yeah, that's pretty. So it's not as concentrated. So if you want to kind of like blow something out and not make it as concentrated, um, go in with a fluffier brush. Yeah, because I'm going to try to keep this kind of just summer fresh. Let's go with that word for today. Because <laughs> I realize, you know, sometimes you get stuck in your own makeup love. And I love a smoky eye, a smoky colorful eye. So I, I realize I do a lot of that. So we're going to try to see what we can do with this. Uh, keeping it lightweight today. The next shade I'm going to pick up is Zubu. This pink. I'm gonna go all over the lid with this shade. I did not wet my brush, but I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. That's pretty. I'm 
I'm going to pick up a little bit of Koji on a kind of tapered brush just to blend out the top edge of that shadow. I brought it above my crease just so you could see it. I'm actually going to take a little bit of O-Sun, O-S-U-N, O-Sun, which is a lighter pink. I'm just going to place it right here in the center of the eye. Kind of like a little bit of a halo. Mm -hmm. The outer corner I'm going to go in with I-F-E-F-F-A, I believe is what it's called. I must just uh, give it this purple so it goes good with this these pinks and stuff. Just kind of give it a little more definition. <clears throat> Get it all blended together. And I added some dimension. So you guys, the eyes should look a little something like this. Um, I do love the way the purple kind of mixed with that lighter pink. And then it kind of like it's an ombre on the end down here. What you guys think? I like it. Alright, so today I went in full coverage. I am using the Kat Von D um, Lock It Foundation. I am in the shade Deep 74. So I am going to take a little bit, when I say a little bit, of the Kevin Aquan. You only need a little bit. See, look how much I just dabbed out of there. I think this has a pretty golden hue. Just put a little bit on there. And I'm actually going to use my beauty blender to finish spreading it and get it blended onto the skin. But yeah, like there's still product left on here. I'm just taking what's on the sides. And I could take a little bit of what's on my face. Yeah, I'm going to get that blended out, and I will be right back. It does just stand out very pretty to me on the skin, and it does give you good coverage. Um, it's kind of to me like where you place it, just, you know, be ready to kind of blend it out. Oh, I'm in the shade uh, SX12 for those who may be wondering. And you've been thinking about checking it out. Yeah, see that made a big difference in my. You see how it wears today? The whole heart up underneath the eye, I just think it gives it a really pretty, pretty, pretty. I've been pitch. taking my black up contouring stick in this little elf brush, even though I don't, I can't really roll the product anymore. It's all out. I mean, it's still a little bit in there. I've been really liking the way this has been making, did, doing my little contour. I really like this contour shade. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go on Sephora and just go ahead and order another one. Uh, because they don't have it in store anymore. But yeah, I really do like this contour shade. Because to me, it just blends out so effort effortlessly. I like this little elf brush with it too. And I'm going to take a little bit of the Kat Von D Like It Translucent. I'm just revisiting this powder. I have not used this in like forever. 
and uh, yeah. Let's just see what it does today. So the face is done. I basically just used the uh, for my face. Um, I just used the Urban Decay um, Jean Michel Basquette. I do like this cheek palette. Um, so I used NoHo and Jawbone again today to get the little pink that I I love the pink out of there. And for highlighter, I just went in with a little of the Becca Rose Gold. As you can tell, I have hit a little bit of pan on that one. Because that's more like for my summary. As a matter of fact, it looks like it needs to be amped up just a little bit. I've already sprayed my face down. So, let's see what this uh kind of gives us right here. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little buttonhole. So, yeah. Oh, so what was I getting ready to do? Um, I'm going to do the lower lash line, uh, and I'm just going to go in with my Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is, what color is this? I think this is out of the blue. So I'm going to take it in my waterline, and hold on. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, and then I'm going to blend it out with, uh, what's the shade we used up top, that purple shade? I I F E. So hey YouTube, this is the final look for me today. Um, yeah, I do like it. <clears throat> I am going to continue to play with the Juvia's Place um, Magic Palette. I love that palette. I hate I missed out on the Zulu palette. If she restocks it, I probably will be picking it up. Uh, and that's probably gonna be it for a while. Um, on my lips, I'm wearing one of my favorite lip combos here lately. It is Max Vino with um, Urban Decay's Michelle Basquette Exhibition. I really love, I've been really liking this combination. So, I think I wore this in another video. So, that's why it is making another appearance with my little pink smoky or purple smoky. I'm not sure. It's just, it just turned out really, really pretty. So, um, I did do the inner corner with the uh, inner corner eye with the... Uh, Faso, F-A-S-O, Faso, Faso, I use that for the inner corner. Um, like I said, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and it's going to probably get a lot of love from me. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. I, this is a full coverage face today. Um, the Kevin Aquan is underneath. I like the way it is making my under eye look. Um, yeah, I will keep you posted. Skin is clearing back up which we are so grateful for that and i will let you guys know what i'm using to um kind of this is by paula's choice but i can't remember the exact name of it um but i will put it down in the description the exact name of what's been really helping my my little uh breakout that i had going on um i think that's it let me know if you guys have any questions and it's so good to be back um i do have a ig page for amateur makeup girl now it's amateur makeup girl with an extra l because the other name was already taken so i will put it up here somewhere so if you guys want to follow me over there it's going to be quick reviews and um looks that i may not necessarily um, do a YouTube video on, but video on, but I will have like daily looks going on over there because I probably do my face every day, especially for work. Since I go to work every day, I try to look um, presentable and because I am in the beauty industry. So I will see you guys on the next turn. And thanks, YouTube. Bye bye.